Monday night's Twin Falls City Council meeting is underway. And one of the items on tonight's agenda is a resolution for making Twin Falls a welcoming city. Kelsey Soto is standing by live to tell us exactly what that means. Kelsey. Thanks, Amy. Well, Boise made this unanimous decision back on January 31st, and Ketchum went ahead and followed suit on February 21st. Now Twin Falls might do the same. Refugee programs will not survive without our support. Dr. Mark Crandall and a few Boy Scouts are presenting their request for a welcoming city resolution at Monday night's Twin Falls City Council meeting. We hope that they learn about government, how the city works, how the city council works, and we're also hoping that the city council will listen to us and pass a welcome resolution. The CSI Refugee Center is responsible for resettling refugees since 1980 through the United Nations. A lot of this has come to light because of the controversies with immigration and the Refugee Center in Twin Falls. Boise and Twin Falls are the only two cities in Idaho that resettle refugees. One of the resettlement agencies in Boise closed their doors in February due to the decline in refugee numbers. I don't think many people know how much our country has cut back in helping refugees from what we have always done for decades. Since January 1st, the CSI refugee program has received 38 people. Under new presidential administration, they're expecting half of the refugees they normally get each year. They asked us for advocacy. They needed us to speak out on their behalf in their support. And for those that are confused, a welcoming city declaration is very different from a sanctuary city. It's a symbolic statement. It has no impact on fiscal policy. It has no impact on law enforcement. It's been standing room only here tonight at Twin Falls City Council meeting. And uh, council members want to remind everyone that this is a presentation only. Doesn't look like a decision will be made here tonight. But there was plenty of public comment. They've actually still been going on for over an hour with different public coming out to speak their mind on the topic. We'll be sure to follow this story. Kelsey Soto, KMBT, Local 11 News.